The following video clips are presented as a supplement to the Bell & Gossett Series 1510 Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual. Drain the pump. Close the isolation valves on the suction and discharge sides of the pump. You must drain the system if no valves are installed. Open the drain plug. Do not proceed until liquid stops coming out of the drain plug. Remove the top vent plug to allow water to drain from the plug. Drain the liquid from the piping and flush the pump if it is necessary. Disconnect all auxiliary piping and tubing. Remove the two cap screws that hold the outer or motor side coupling guard to the support brackets. Spread the outer guard apart and pull it off the inner guard. Do not spread the outer and inner guards more than necessary to remove the guard. It could alter their fit and appearance. Remove the cap screw that holds the inner guard to the supporting bracket. Spread the inner guard apart and pull it over the coupling. Remove the coupling by first removing the cap screws from both halves of the coupler sleeve and remove the sleeve halves. Slide each half as far back as possible on the shaft. Remove the bearing frame and impeller assembly. Remove the support foot cap screws. Loosen the volute cap screws, but do not remove them. Use the cap screws in the jack screw holes for all models except for the 1510-8G. Loosen the bearing frame and impeller assembly from the volute. Remove the seal flushing tube if it is used. Remove the volute cap screws. Remove the bearing frame and impeller assembly from the volute. Remove the impeller. For all models except the 1510-8G, remove the impeller cap screw. Remove the lock washer and the washer. Remove the bearing bracket cap screws from the cover plate. Using a gear puller, pull on the back side of the cover plate to remove the impeller, mechanical seal rotating assembly, and cover plate from the bearing frame assembly. Remove the impeller. Remove the rotating portion of the mechanical seal. If necessary, use a screwdriver to loosen the rubber ring. Remove the impeller key. Remove the cover plate from the bearing frame assembly. Remove the seal insert, the insert gasket, and the retainer if it is used. Then remove the fiber gasket from the face of the cover plate. If damaged, it should be replaced with a new one. Before you assemble the pump parts, inspect and replace any part that does not meet the required criteria. Lubricate the shaft sleeve and cover plate seal cavity with soapy water. Do not use petroleum lubricant. Install a new insert gasket. Install a new seal insert and make sure that the indentation is against the insert gasket. Slide a new rotating seal assembly onto the shaft sleeve. Push the top of the compression ring with a screwdriver until the seal is tight against the seal insert. Install the seal spring and point the narrow end toward the seal. Impeller installation. Install the impeller, impeller washer, block washer, and cap screw.
tighten the cap screw according to the cap screw torque values table. Reinstall the bearing frame and impeller assembly. Install a new volute gasket. Install the bearing frame assembly into the volute. Tighten the volute cap screws according to the cap screw torque values table. Install the support foot cap screws and tighten them according to the cap screws torque values table. Install and align the coupling. Install the drain plug and close the drain valve. Install the hex coupling guard. Slide the inner guard into the outer guard. Spread the guards and place them over the coupling. Do not spread the inner and outer guards more than necessary for guard installation, as it can alter their fit and appearance. Straddle the support bracket with the guards and install a cap screw through the hole in the support bracket and guard located closest to the pump. Do not tighten the cap screw. Install the outer guard cap screws. Since the pump shown does not have a motor saddle support bracket, then insert the spacer washer between the holes located closest to the motor in the outer guard and install the two remaining cap screws. Do not tighten the cap screws. Position the outer guard so that there is less than one quarter inch of exposed shaft. Hold the guard in this position and tighten the three cap screws. Open the isolation valves and inspect the pump for leaks. Return the pump to service if it is not leaking.